waiting. And here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We're excited tonight. We want to tell you happy Father's Day to you that are tuning in. It's been, I hope you've had a wonderful Father's Day. I certainly did. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too much Father's Day. Uh, but we got a plan. We're going to set it into motion. We're going to team up one with another. We're going to take some things by force. Some things that we're working on. Uh, like we said this morning, like the Holy Spirit just really spoke some things in there. We're working on them. We're going to bring those things to pass to the body of Christ. And, and uh, I'm excited, looking forward to it because God wants us to be a, a force to be reckoned with. And I'm telling you, the body of Christ got to go out with a bang before Jesus Christ comes back. He said he's coming back for a church without a spot, a wrinkle, a blemish. That means we're going to get it together. We're going to cross our teeth and dot our eyes and show this world what we're made of. Because I'm telling you, if we're going to be doing the greater signs, we're going to start manifesting those things. And to manifest those things, we're going to start preparing ourselves yeah. for the end time. And I'm talking about with might and power and influence. Influence. Yeah. So let's pray, get in the word. We're going to talk about great connections tonight. So I definitely want you to pay attention and listen. Because uh, I think it's going to be a word, word that's going to help you. It's going to strengthen our prayers. We pray tonight for those to be healed, delivered, set free, and even saved. Amen. Maybe somebody's going to re rededicate their life again to the Lord. Maybe you're not where you're supposed to be. And the Lord's been nudging you and calling you back. And so we want to pray with you that you'll reestablish that love, that relationship with him. Mm -hmm. So you can prosper. You know, we got to take out that um, every... Uh, area whereby there's uh wondering right uh what am i doing wrong can this happen you know uh, so we want to take out all the reservations and all the things and all the areas whereby the enemy can come in and mess with our mind so we want to make you like the bible said you're calling an election sure so let's pray and i want you to open your spirits wide as we believe god for great connections that's what we're talking about tonight great connections you're going to see it's a powerful tool as we pray one for another, pray one with another. Amen. So let's pray. Grab somebody by the hand. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to thank minister you, your word to your people and to yes, pray Lord. for them on their behalf and your behalf, yes, Lord. Lord. We pray that your name be magnified, that the thank Son be glorified. And Lord, we thank you right now that the people be yes. edified in the name of Jesus in Christ of Nazareth. Name. We thank you as always, Lord, for this opportunity to come before your people in the presence of your heavenly angels. To minister the word. Now we thank you, Lord, yes, that the angels Lord, will go forth, you. take the word that we Hallelujah. speak, and minister on their behalf that you may be glorified. As Jesus said, ask that your joy may be full, that the Father may glorify me. And so, Lord, we're looking yes. for you to be glorified tonight as we speak your word with the power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit that goes forth with spirit and life in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, Amen. Amen. Uh, you better start rejoicing Amen. right now for what God is going to do. Yeah. I want you to get in your Bibles and turn. To the book of Matthew, the 18th chapter. The book of Matthew, the 18th chapter. Mm -hmm. I want you to set your heart in agreement with us to pray, releasing your faith right now, to believe whatever we ask for in the name of Jesus. It's going to come to pass. So get excited about what God's going to do in your life. What I want to do is I'm going to create and establish an expectation in you. So whatever we pray tonight, that you'll receive it. I want you to set your mind right now. Say, so you know what? I believe I receive. Say that with me. I, I believe, believe I receive. I receive. And so Jesus said, when you stand praying, believe that you receive, and you shall what? You shall have them. Did he say that? He said it. Did I say that? No. He said it. So we're going to stand on the word of God, and we're going to believe it. Amen. No more wavering. No, be, no more tossed to and fro. No. By every one of the doctors, we talked about that this morning. You know, you, one day you want to be prosperous, and then next day you want to be in poverty. Or oh, so you say, be content. No, we've got to make up our mind. And why are we getting to that place? Why are we heading to that destination? We'll believe the word of God. Because right. I'm, I'm saying, what good would it be to serve a God that's almighty, all-powerful, all-wonderful, all-magnificent, and yet we fall short of the promises of God? Mm -hmm. you no, know, don't make any sense. Right. And listen to me. Like my, like my wife said, you don't have to fall for any wooden nickels. No, right. no wooden Amen. nickels. You can, whatever he said in his word, and listen to <laughs> what he says. He says, I'm not a man that I should lie. Nor the son of man that I should repent. If I said it, point to him now. If I said it, I'm going to do it. Right. If I've spoken it, I'm going to make it good. 
Yes. No doubt Amen. about it. God says, you can stand on my word. My word shall not return unto me void, but it shall establish that which I sent it out. So we believe God. We're excited. And you know what? We might have been attacked and beat up by the enemy, but know this, that in the end, we always get the victory. So if you got your Bibles, turn in Matthew, the 18th chapter. Jesus is talking about relationships. Um, and we throw that word in there, with the be bound on earth should be bound in heaven. He's talking about relationships, and he's talking about the power of that relationship. And you'll be surprised how strong that relationship is. And so we're talking about great connections. Now, where did I get that word from? God gave it to me in a download. I was listening to the man of God. He was preaching. Uh, I'll let him keep his own secrets. But as he was ministering, the, 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 the seed of the word was dropped. Great connections. Amen. And that just exploded in my spirit. And so it, it fits well with what we're talking about tonight. But I want to show you something. I want to show you something that Amen. we you, we miss. And it's easy to miss. And I want, I want to start with this preface. Never get familiar with the word. And I've said this all the time. I'm going to give you an example why we shouldn't do that. I always tell you, if you're going to study the word, study it as if you never read it before. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we can get so familiar with the word we'll start saying things that's really not there. Mm -hmm. I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Right. He's the, um, the, true, uh, the truth and the light. The light. Well, the scripture, he's the truth and the light. The life. The light. Life. One of them. Life. And so we be saying things that, that get cliched because over time, things begin to blend and come together, and we, we, we don't rightly divide it. And so you have mixture that come, and we start mixing scriptures, and it just starts saying things that is really <laughs> like that. Well, it says, um, the race is not given to the strong, but to he that endure to the end. Well, that, that's not what the scripture says. And it says, time and chance happen to them all. Now, you can paraphrase it and say, but mm -hmm. he that endure to the end. But the idea is, uh, end of what? It's like, you're going to do it if you... It get to the end when Jesus Christ come back and you know they said no the scripture says no you just keep on and your time is going to come right. I don't know when it's going to come but it's going to come so if we're not careful we'll start molding letting scriptures blend together and so one of the things that I saw in the scripture we're going to read that just quicken how quickly that is real uh, it's important that we don't get familiar with scriptures always go back and study something there's something quick in your spirit and you say right. it go back and study it and see what it says because if you're not careful what I, what happened is the enemy is just so little living in it yeah and so if god says a word it has to be the pure unadulterated word as if it came out of god's mouth can right. then be added to or take it away Amen. from it so the enemy will sometime will bleed yeah. a little familiarity there and start crossing scriptures mm -hmm. and so We'll, we'll grab hold to that and we'll never go back and study it again. And from that point on, we'll just keep, continue to paraphrase and paraphrase and paraphrase it. And then we'll get stuck right there. And then we'll try to figure out why things not working. It's because what we are speaking is not actually the truth of God's word. So we had to go back and break those things down, tear down what the stronghold is in our mind that we established because we came, became too familiar with the word and we started saying something that really wasn't there. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And it's going to go off in your head like this here. What does the Bible say about two? Let me show you. What does the Bible say about two? If any two shall agree. Say it again. If any two shall agree. And that's what he showed me. He said, that's not what the word says. And we caught on to that, and a lot of us have been saying it. If any two shall agree. And we've been wondering why some of our prayers hadn't been getting answered. And the reason why it's not getting answered, let's just, let's just read it. Now, remember that. That's a good example. And that's what he showed me, because that's the first thing I quoted. Kept quoting, kept quoting, and it became familiar. Any two. And you say, well, Tim, you're just being too picky. Well, let me tell you <laughs> something. Like he said, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. We got to stick to what the word says. So okay. I'm going to show you what I mean. So if we go to Matthew, the 18th chapter. Now, when she read this, I want you to open your ears wide and listen. Listen to hear. And you tell me what you hear. Okay. Read Matthew. We're going to read verses 18 through 19. Uh, chapter 18, verse 18 mm -hmm. through, 19. through 19. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, 
and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, if that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Now, what, did you catch anything? That if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything. Now, what did you say before? That, if any two shall agree. What's the difference? Whatsoever. What, no, 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 no. Uh, that if two of you shall agree. What's the difference? That if you're in agreement. But, no, what did you say at first? I'm going to see if you catch it. If any two. Okay, think it like that. That's what you said. If any two. Now read what the book okay. says. That if two of you. The key is, ain't no any two in that book. And okay. the reason was the reason why we've been getting messed up is because we've been grabbing two. anybody to think that anybody, if any two of you agree, it shall be done. And we're trying to figure out why these things ain't getting done. The Lord said, because any two ain't gonna work. All right. So we're gonna have some, we're gonna have to have great connections. And a lot of us think that if I just because I go grab somebody, it's going to work. But that ain't what the books say. And he just make it plain and simple. He says, if two of you shall agree, who? Two that are actually in agreement. Yes. Ain't no in it too. And I'm yeah. like, wow, we've been missing it because we just been going great. Hey brother, pray with me. Brother, you can't have everybody to pray for you because everybody's not in agreement with you, even though they're a Christian. Right. You want people that are solid. The Bible said the effectual fervent yes. prayer of a righteous okay. man availeth much. You want somebody to really be concerned about yes. your situation yes, so that the agreement yes. can work. All and right. so the problem is we and he says, now this is the reason a lot of y'all get in trouble. Stop getting familiar with the word. Get the word and see what the word says. Now there may be other translations and maybe they say any, but they ain't with the book. So we got to start with the original. Everything starts with the King James. You can build up on it to make it more simple mm -hmm. for anybody to read. But let's not add anything to yeah. what it says. Now, does it not? Does that make sense? If any two of you shall agree. But guess what? Everybody you have to pray with you yeah. ain't, ain't really right. concerned. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to figure out why things are not working. And so we're talking about great connections mm -hmm. tonight. We need some great connections. Amen. Great connections that when I come together with someone, my prayers are going to get answered because this book can't lie. He says, if two of you, wait a minute, what two? Two of you that agree. Everybody that's in it ain't agreeing. You'll be surprised mm -hmm. that some of y'all trying to get to agree with you is looking upside your head, don't want nothing to come to pass because they going through the same wow. thing that you're going through and they want it first. And I know that's hard to believe, mm -hmm. but I'm wow. telling you, there are some people, they want, what, they want good for you, but they want good for them first. Mm -hmm. Want good for them first. And there have been many people that have acknowledged that, that <laughs> look at their faces when you get it. And it ain't one from them, but when you get it, that, that that's nice <laughs> sister you look like my blessing is hurting you no no i'm happy for you and this is a reality see <coughs> the idea is never get familiar with the word we just start quoting things and mm -hmm. paraphrasing it to the point to where it's not really what to say we can't change the context of the word right. we change the context we're going to change the power of it so it says if two of you shall agree mm -hmm. jesus didn't connect himself to anybody he had twelve, like we said this before. He yeah. commissioned seventy. He gave power to the twelve. He ordained the twelve. He, well, he spoke to the multitude, commissioned seventy, ordained twelve. But he only had three that was really close to him, and he mm -hmm. sometimes and he be getting them straight. So the idea is, we're gonna have you. This we're gonna yeah. pray for God to give you great connections, and all you need is one, one great connection, that will help you. Come into what God wants you to come into. Because what I found out is we can't do this by ourselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. God did not ordain for that to be that way. Right, absolutely. He did ordain it for it to be that way. Now, we know that we God, all things are possible. But what he wants mm -hmm. us to do, he wants us to operate as a community. To be linked together, heart to heart, breast to breast. Mm -hmm. That we function as a body, right. not a person. Paul said, we can't look at the the, the, the foot and, and, and the eye and all of them think that they can abide by themselves. No, we are here together and we all need to work together. And so 
if you no man is an island, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to come together with people. But the, to get the greatest out of your Christian walk as a believer, you're gonna have to find one great connection. That's our prayer tonight that God will give you one great connection. He says, "All it takes is one." Now, one chase a thousand, two ten thousand, mm -hmm. and the Bible goes on to say that a three four cord is not easily broken. So, we want to make sure that we have those great connections. And so let's not get so familiar with the world. We just start quoting stuff. Go back and study things that some, some of your favorite quotes. If you're not careful, other things will start blending in there, and it just change the whole context of what, what the what the word really means. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us that have those quotes that we love to just speak, let's go back and study it again and make sure that's still what the words say because the enemy is crafty. He is very very crafty. And if you can change the word, you'd be like, I wonder why this thing not working anymore. I put like this here. If you're driving down the car and, you're, and, that, and you have a high-performance car and that high-performance vehicle say you need to put 93 octane in here, put the 86, 87 in if you want to for a while. It might run for a little while, mm -hmm. but eventually it's not going to be performing like it should. You're not going to get the right. performance out of it. Why? Because you, it's still gasoline. Right. It's still gasoline. Some of the things that we're saying is still the word, but it's mixture. Mm -hmm. It's living. It's not that. It's not what God mm -hmm. says in purity in the word so we're going to pray tonight for great connections and so what we want to do is say listen we're we're here to connect with you and believe god for whatever we pray for is going to come to pass in your life now we don't pray to be praying you better know that we always say lord we believe these things to come to pass we we, we really believe those Amen. things to come to pass we're concerned not just about you spiritually because we can't do nothing about that that's between you and King Jesus. If thou hast earnestly repented, then you're saving your own way to heaven. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on heaven, we got to live here on this earth. And so now we go from that point to making sure that you're empowered, enlightened, and that you're living the life that God calls us for us to live. Mm -hmm. And so you know what? That means we're going to have to have some health and some wealth. And so we're standing together in agreement with you on that. And so if you can't find anyone that you can physically reach out to and say listen I need someone to agree with me and I don't need no any to I need someone to agree with me right and so we'll stand with you and pray in boxes uh, whatever you need to do to be concerned because Amen. I just believe with all my heart that everybody in the body of Christ should experience the life that God says in his word. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible says, this said, Jesus said himself, that you should have the pool with you always. Well, it don't have to be in the church. He just said the pool is going to be with you always. <laughs> you know who it should be? If anything, it should be the world experiencing the poor. But we that are in the body of Christ should make sure that none of us have any lack. We should be looking for someone right. that has lack and make sure that we take care of it. That we would do like the apostles did in the old days. They, they went and if they had to sell something and laid at the apostles' feet, that they would take care of those that had need. Now, we might have to trust the apostles that if we lay at their feet, they don't keep it to themselves. But if we have the heart of God, we should be doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. We should be trusted as leaders to distribute to the poor, to take care of the needy, to take care of the yeah. widow, to take care of the orphans. We should be doing those things. I don't know. Does anybody fear God? I mean, the way we live, the way we act, the way we walk, the way we talk is like we don't even believe that he exists our own selves. I mean, if we really believe that God was real, it will govern a whole lot of things that we do. I mean, it would really, right. really, really, we yeah. would set boundaries and say, you know what? I love him so much, I can't do anything that's going to harm him or hurt him. Because his eyes is in every place beholding the good and the evil, and he mm -hmm. see what I'm doing. And if I know that I'm going to meet him on that great day, then I might need to start fixing my right. business. Amen. I might start needing to love my neighbor and love my enemy. I might need to start doing good unto them that despitefully use me and pray for them that, that persecute me. Mm -hmm. You know, I might need to start working on those things so that when he comes back, I'll be without a spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Right. Clothed in his righteousness, covered in the blood, walking in his word. That's what I want to do. And so I think, you want to know something that will keep you out of a lot of trouble? Start thinking on others. Mm -hmm. Start thinking on others. If we start thinking on others, we'll start doing the things that will help others. We'll stop thinking about ourselves. 
And the enemy can't drag us into a whole lot of things that's not right. Because sometimes we get so discouraged. You know what? Ain't nothing to this world. I'm going to live like I want to live. I'm living hell on earth. I ain't got number one life to live. I'm going to live it for myself. Mm. That's a bad choice. Right. Enemy come in and sift you like wheat. And then when you stand before him, you're going to say, this is Israel. There is a God. And you be sitting up looking like Oprah Winfrey. What's that? Uh, Miss Sophia. <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> it's too late then. But the idea is just... Let's think on others. Find that great, that great connection. Pray one for another. Pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. I uh, own nobody that's sick praying for me. That ain't what the word say. Mm -hmm. The word didn't say you had to be healed. He just said pray one for another that right. ye may be healed. Understand mm -hmm. you're not the healer. I'm not the healer. He's the healer. Mm -hmm. And we're standing on his word. And if we speak his word, stand on his word, and believe what we say, he said we shall have it. So my thing is, you that are, that, are, that, are, that are battling sickness, you the one definitely need to sow it. Pray for it. You know, say, you know what, devil, I'm going to show you something. I am not the healer, but I believe in him. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. While I'm sitting in his bed with cancer, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to every room I possibly can get to. And I'm going to pray for everyone that's sick. Every cancer patient I can get my hands on, I'm going to lay my hands on them and I'm going to pray for them. Oh, but what about me? No, forget about you. You get up and you say, you know what? I tell you what, you done hit me with your best shot. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit here and die. I'm going to get up and do what God gave me the power to do. And he says, ye shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, physician, heal yourself. I am not the healer, but I will do what he mm -hmm. say do, and I'll stand on it, and I'll believe I receive. And I'm telling you, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good men, just press down, shaking together, yes. and running Amen. over, and you'll find out. Let's watch this. As the power of God is being released out of you, it's got to flow through you. You'll be getting healing while you're praying for others and seeing them right. get healed. Amen. Let's show the devil, no, you can't stop me. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to retaliate. And the harder you hit me, the harder I'm going to hit you. You try to put sickness on me, I'm going to pray for 10 folks now. I'm going to pray for 10 folks to be healed. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you'll see God Thank do some you. tremendous things. Some tremendous things. Um, and we, we can't let them intimidate us. So uh, let's look at what the word says. I want to go back to the 18th verse. It says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Mm -hmm. Now, right here, this word is a uh, what I call a universal word. It's powerful. It covers encompasses a whole lot of things. But here specifically, he's talking about a relationship. He says, bind your relationships up, fix those things. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you ever win the heart of an enemy, you done been through everything that you could possibly go through. You had your ups, your downs, mm -hmm. your struggles. You, you know, you're fighting, you're bickering. Once that relationship comes, I'm telling you, that's one of the most loyal, powerful relationships you can have when you have when you have convinced an right. enemy to be a friend. Right. We done already stabbed each other in the back. We done been there and done that. We found out it's more beneficial to walk together in agreement. Right. I'm telling you, the relationship has been tested and tried. Right. Why would you want to get a divorce if y'all done been through hell and high water, yes. suffered adultery and fornication and all those things, and you done been that done that you hurt me, I hurt you, we done got over it. Now why go and why mm -hmm. go and get a divorce? You done, the, the, the relationship have been tested and tried, and you've won. Right. Now it ought to become more strong and more solid and more stable, and go on. Because I tell you this here, ain't nobody got time to learn nobody else. I know that's right. I'm telling you. Ain't nobody got time to learn nobody else. That's what I tell her. I said, look, I ain't got time to learn nobody, nobody else. else. I, I, I know how long it took us fools to get here. And so yes, can I Lord. imagine going, going back to 33 more years of trying to learn somebody? And everybody yes. sounds cute and wonderful while you're dating and while you're trying to get to know one another. It seems like yeah. you're sleeping with the enemy as soon as you walk around. So, uh, you do, I do, you do, I do too. And then you know, it's like, what, what happened to you? Why are you so angry and mad? Because you ugly. I'm like, where did all this come from? So, no, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're in a relationship and it's been tested, it's been tried, mm -mm, stick together with that thing. Y'all know each other. That's right. You know how to read one another. 
I can look at you and tell you, you ain't in no good mood. But don't you come in there with all that foolishness. I don't see what all that Scooby do. <laughs> don't come in there with that. Y'all know how to handle it. Y'all know how to dwell That's with one right. according to knowledge. <coughs> You've learned those things. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, people that you had, to, the, the things that you, your relationship been tested yes, and tried. Yes, Lord. Come together and say, how can we bind this thing together? He says, so what's up with you binding earth? He said, God said, I got it. Y'all come together? Y'all, y'all settled y'all agreement? He says, okay. I will sanctify it. If you bind it on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. If you loose it in earth, I'll loose it in heaven. If he ain't well to please with you, well, you think I'm not going to go back up here and we're talking about, you know, how many times should my brother trespass against me? He says, seven, eight times seven. And he says, first, here's how you handle the situation. We, we're doing it all the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Can I talk about that for just a minute? Go. We're doing it the wrong way. All the people leaving the church, I'm like, I've been church hurt. Baby, if that's the case, everybody's been church hurt. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, if you take a survey, everybody that's ever been in church, it have even docked a door. I don't care if it's Lutheran, Presbyterian, Church of God in Christ, Seventh-day Adventist, <laughs> uh, Jehovah Witness. Everybody that have docked the church have been hurt it's one way or another. Mm-hmm. Folk look at you crazy. And you, I've been hurt. What's well, she looking at me like that for? Them being church hurt. Right. But here's the thing you have to look at. That it's, it, it, if, if we do it the right way, you go to that person. We don't do that. Mm-hmm. We go tell everybody else about something we assume, That's and right. you know what? That person could have been yeah. daydreaming. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. What, what is, g- girl, is something wrong with me? <laughs> no, what's wrong with you? Why is she looking at me like that, and baby? And that baby in, in, in mm-hmm. Mars and Pluto thinking about the life that she's going mm-hmm. through and how the devil is attacking yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't even thought about you. But, <laughs> but just because we assume something, we do it the wrong mm-hmm. way. Yeah. The, the best way was say, listen, I noticed how you was looking at me. Is there something wrong? Oh, girl, no. Mm-hmm. Could have nipped it in the bud. Right. Just like that. Just with just, we're just, we're just one question. But no, we take it somewhere else, and then that person take it somewhere else. And then this person here that had nothing, that don't even know what's going on, all of a sudden, people are going to go, oh, girl, someone's so mad at you. Mm-hmm. Said you was looking at her. Now, you said it was a look. Now they say, you talking about trying to take her husband? Where that come from? I'm telling you, because <laughs> gossip spreads and they add stuff to uh-huh. it to make it juicy. Yep. And the whole relationship is just messed up. Right. So the book saying, if someone, if you have a knowledge against someone, go to them. Mm-hmm. You know, right. if they don't hear you, take a witness. If they don't hear the witness in you, take go before the church. If mm-hmm. they don't hear the church, reduce them a heretic and a reprobate. Right. But no, we do everything else besides go to that person. And we're doing it the wrong mm-hmm. way. And we're wondering why we don't have any peace. We're wondering why things are not working. Because you know what? God said, What did I say? Right. And he he ain't listening to your prayers. Matter of fact, he says if your relationships is not right with one another, I'm not even receiving your Offering. offering. Yeah. Yes, what I sow and I tithe and I give and God be saying that you do. Was that I ain't taking none of it because I told you what to do. Right. I told you if you get to that altar, listen to what is the book say. He says if you get to that altar and you feel, you think, you yeah. perceive, not whether you know, if you perceive that your brother has an altar against you, go to him. Let me see if I can find that in this book. I don't know if I could take out my time and look at that. Um, here it is right here. Mm. He says in 60, I don't know if it's in that day, but it will, it will explain this here. It's in the 15th verse of the same chapter. It says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Mm -hmm. If he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Mm-hmm. So 
he's talking about relationship. Then he goes on to say, For I say unto you, whatsoever you shall buy and earth shall be bound in heaven. So he's talking about relationship. Jesus wants our relationship to be solid. Right. Not just for loved ones, not just for husbands and wife, for mm -hmm. the body of Christ, for Amen. the body of believers. Yes. And so yes. Uh, to the point where he says, I'm not going to even receive your offer. And I, I don't know if I got time to look up that scripture. To the point to where, no. So you're sowing, you're tithing, and you're giving. Yes. If you even know somebody, I, I don't even know why they don't like me. You just, you sowed in vain. Mm -hmm. Because you said, I don't know why they like me, so don't like me. So you perceive that the person has all against you. Right. Guess what you're supposed to be doing? Going and straightening it out. Right. Great connections. You know what? Yes. You win that person that could be that could be your great connection. Do you think the devil want people to walk in agreement? Mm -mm. No. I, I you know what? I would be I would be almost safe to say that some of the people that we're at odds with are probably the people that God has ordained us to be in connection with. Mm -hmm. But the enemy want to make sure that that never comes together. Right. Let me share something with you. You want to know why the devil always tearing up marriages? You get ready. You know what? Y'all want to pay me for this one. You know what? Write me a check for $10,000 because I'm about to say something to set a lot of you free. All right. Write me a check for $10,000 because I'm about to drop this on you and give you some value for your relationship. You want to know why uh, the devil tears up marriages? Because he knows some prayer is going to be hindered. Mm -hmm. Husbands. Right. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to come together. What? Unless your prayers be hindered. hindered. Yeah. So if you got a husband mad at a wife and wife mad at the husband, come on, let's pray. Y'all might well go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> yeah. Go sit down somewhere because he said that prayer's not going to work. You've got to come together in agreement. Yes, I'm talking Lord. about in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tell it. You know what? Tell the truth. God, her mad at me and I'm mad at her. But help us right now with our foolishness. Mm -hmm. And that we repent right now. It's not in our heart, but it's in the word. And so we submit ourselves to the word in you, yes. in Jesus' name. And then pray. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you, Bob, the Bible tells us, don't let your wrath do what? Go down. No, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Yes. Fix that stuff before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to bite their tongue and say, you know what? You made me very mad. I don't like you right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I need to get this fixed because the Lord commanded me. Not to let the sun go down on my wrath. And so, ain't no use of us being mad. It ain't going to solve anything besides all we doing is giving advantage to the devil. Right. Giving advantage to the enemy. And we continue letting him win. I'm telling you, he loves to destroy unity mm -hmm. because he knows that therein is where God will command the blessing. Yes. Come on, we can't keep letting him win. We can't keep letting him <clears throat> easily defeat us. Right. Some of the battles, the devil ain't doing nothing. We're giving it to him. Yeah. Here's your victory. Go ahead on over something that's so simple that they cause us to be out of source with one another. We're talking about great connections tonight. As we've been talking, have you been thinking about one with you? Come on. Uh, I got to find me somebody else because I just can't find my husband won't agree with me. You might need to want to have to fix that because I'm going to tell you at the end of the day. Ain't nobody going to put up with y'all like y'all put up with one another. And ain't nobody know y'all like y'all know each other. And nobody's <laughs> going to be concerned because you know what? Both of you all have a mutual benefit. Mm -hmm. Y'all need this thing to work. Right. You need it to work. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all living in the same house. Got the, the bills got to be paid. The children got to be taken care of. You all have a mutual benefit. So who's, who's more concerned about what y'all going through than one another? Right. So y'all got to make that thing work. You got to make it work. Coming together and says, you know what, there has to be a level of compromise where we had to compromise one with another to see it come to pass. And so we, since we have a vested interest, since we have a vested interest in this, it, is, it behooves us to come together and reason together mm -hmm. and allow God to cause us to get into that place. And you know what? It'll work if you swallow your pride, humble yourself, and the Spirit of God can take over and make right. it like it's supposed to be. Great connections. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Simba, you may be, stop rolling your eyes at that person. You may be sitting beside your greatest connection right there beside you mm -hmm. because he says, if two shall agree, this is a promise. Read that. I'm going to let you read that. <coughs> Just read this. <coughs> I got my highlighted, underlined, and put in quotations because that's one of the powerful scriptures that the body of Christ can ever have. And I'm okay. telling you, it brings results. It brings results. 
Verily I say unto you, whatsoever. Verse 19, I'm sorry. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, again I say unto you that if that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of the Father, of my Father which is in heaven. Now put the any in the right place. Yeah. When you put the any in the right place, it makes a whole lot of sense. He said, now you can't get any two together, but if two come together, you can ask anything. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> now watch this. If any two come together, you can't ask no anything because any two ain't coming together to try to reach the thing that you may be. And that person may be in competition with you. Sad to say, but sometimes that's the case. Yeah. You know, girl, John, he's single. I want you to pray that somehow me and God <laughs> come together. You know, God bring us together as one. And you don't know, Sally might be looking at John too. Do you really think she going to pray that God bless y'all? Mm -mm. She gonna be saying, "Okay, Carol, let's pray." Lord, I pray right now in Jesus' name. John, look at me, and I'm just giving an example. But you know what? I believe some of that stuff happens. In other words, some people might have a vested interest in what you have an interest in. They can't totally agree with you. But guess what? If you find somebody that's in agreement with you, you can ask for anything. Mm -hmm. Right. If, if again, he says again, listen to me. Y'all buying that stuff up. You need mm -hmm. to fix it. Right. Tim Vicky, fix it. Right. But I'm mad at her lot. No, 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 no. It's it's in your best interest that you fix it. Mm -hmm. There are so many things going against you if you don't fix it. You need to fix it. Look at your neighbor and say, You need to fix it. You need to, you need fix, to fix it. Husbands and wives, you need to fix it. Sisters and brothers, you need to fix it. Church members, you need to fix it. Amen. Yes. Pastors, you need to fix it. Come on, somebody say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, He ain't going to fix it till you fix it. When you fix it, he'll mm -hmm. fix it. And so get to the place where if any two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. This is his promise. Mine's in red. What's yours in? It's in red. Yours in red? Uh, it tells me that if it's in red, that means that Jesus said it. Now, can he lie? No. No, come on, tell the truth. Can no, he lie? No, he can't. You, you really believe that? Yeah, I believe that. You believe he can't lie? I believe he can. He don't lie. Never will lie. So that Even means truth. if he said that, yeah. that means if he said it, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. If he's spoken it, he's going to make it good. For he's even as his father. He said to himself, he says, me and my father, we are one. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. So I was within the beginning with my, with my father. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. If this is the word, we can mm -hmm. stand on it. He says, it shall be done for them. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's not just for the person. You need to connect with somebody that's needing the same thing you need. Why? Because they're going to have the same factual and fervency as you have concerning the situation. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be something that's done for them. Mm -hmm. Not just for you. You can't be selfish. So if you really want to see something come to pass concerning the thing that you're believing God for, find somebody that wants the same thing you want, needs the same thing you need. Y'all come together and agree. You want to know why? Because both of you all will agree for that thing. Listen mm -hmm. here. You need your needs met. I need my needs met. We're both behind on our rent. Let's pray for this thing. Y'all mm -hmm. pray, and guess what? God meet the need. You pray for somebody that got all the money in the world, they're not really concerned about you meeting your need. They, they needs met. But you get somebody, they got to get that rent paid. Girl, we need to pray. Yeah, you too. Shh. Mine on the 15th, and it's getting close. I got to have that money. Girl, we, I, we need to pray. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that sister going to be praying just as hard as you praying. Mm -hmm. Why? Because both of you all need to receive and it shall be done for them. Yes. Pastors, stop competing one with another. Go to that go to the preacher and say, look now, look, man. Ain't no use us competing one with another. You need some members, I need some members. 
Let's pray and believe God that he'll give, give an increase to both of us. Because you know what? I just believe this city is big enough for the both of us. Amen. And there's going to be some people that like my personality that's not going to like your personality. They're going to like right. your personality. They don't Amen. like my personality. That can get with me. That can't get with you and vice versa. So we just believe God that we come together and say, Lord, bless Jim's ministry. And when you pray, you say, Lord, bless Tim's ministry. And you know what? Yes. I believe God going to say, look at them. Whatsoever they bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever they loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I want y'all mm -hmm. to go down there and fill both of those churches up for the glory of the Lord and watch what God does. Why? And it shall be done for them. Mm -hmm. And you'll see what God does. Great connections. Find, pray, and ask God. To send. You know what? When Saul became king, I'm quite sure he had a lot of adversity. But this is what the Bible says. And the Lord... Join it unto him. Put, put, you know, join people unto him. They right. gave them a heart after Saul. God did that. Because there was a lot of people saying, who is this Saul? Uh, how he going to keep be king <laughs> over us? It's, it's impossible. <laughs> and then when Saul did a great feat, somebody said, where them folk, where them fools that they say, uh, shall Saul reign over us? We're going to deal with them. No, no, let them alone. So then, you know, there are going to be some people that's not for you. But don't worry about it. God got great connections for you, and he's going to join people to you that has your best interest at heart. And when you all pray, it shall be done for you all. It shall be done for them. And I'm telling you, I don't care what it is. So, you know, stop. Don't ever get into that place where, you know, I don't want nobody sick praying for me. Pray together, and you'll see God will do it for you, for them. Amen. Say, listen here. I got the gout. You got the arthritis. Let's pray. You know what? Ain't nobody concerned about us. Don't nobody, you know, don't understand what we're going through. Mm -hmm. This is not. This this don't feel good. And people just pray and pray over us and brush it off. But you know what this pain mm -hmm. feel like, and I know what this pain feel like. Amen. And I'm telling you, it don't feel good. Yes, Let's Lord. pray and ask God to get Amen. deliver us from this. Amen. And the effectual fervent prayer. Of a righteous man it has nothing to do whether you being sick or not. You righteous. What make you righteous? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus makes mm -hmm. you righteous. So if the effectual fervent, yes. I'm telling you, both of y'all know the condition that you're in. You're gonna be effectual and you're gonna be fervent because you know what you're going through and you're gonna pray. And now you stand up and say, Lord, you said in your word, if if two shall agree concerning mm -hmm. anything, touching anything on this earth, it shall be done for them. Me and my sister, me and my brother, we've prayed to mm -hmm. be delivered. So we stand yeah. and believe and we receive that by your stripes we are healed. Amen. And we stand on your yes. word. Now, Lord, we're expecting you to perform yours mm -hmm. on our behalf. We trust you. We honest, we, uh, we believe you. We honor you. Mm -hmm. We know that you're not a man that you should not know son of a man that you should repent. You said it. We read it. You spoken it. We believe you're going to do it. And we, we believe you to be mm -hmm. faithful right. to perform that which you said. Thank and y'all walk away and say, look at the person say, you believe you receive? I believe I receive. You believe you receive? I believe I receive. Y'all bo both walk away believing you receive. Mm -hmm. And guess what? In not many days, it'll be manifested. If it don't get manifested right on the spot. Amen. Mm -hmm. Great connections. Have you Connection. discovered that great connection? Uh, and then what about um, um, when it comes to a relationship? That we don't defraud each other, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I say this, you know, because too, as believers, we can do that. You know, you can somebody can you can go to someone and say, "Hey, pray with me," like you say, and and you think, "Oh, they're in agreement with you." But then at the same time, you can be defrauding one another, and you really not um, in agreement because you don't feel like a person is worthy or deserve whatever you're praying mm -hmm. for. You know, that's the, we shouldn't do that because especially if we expecting God to manifest it and we're asking and believing God to give it to us, then, you know, it's just like a husband and a wife. You remember when we were believing for uh, a van? Right, and I wasn't in agreement. And, and I was thinking like, I don't want no more debt. I yeah. ain't got, no, got, got time for no debt. <laughs> and we ain't getting no debt. And as long as I was out of agreement, it we never, it never happened. Never manifested. Never manifested. And, I, and guess what? Going through the motions of praying, I'm gonna pray because I'm gonna pray because she said let's pray. And I'm down there praying, and I'm saying within myself, mm -mm, 
I ain't ready for no other car note. <laughs> then ain't, we ain't getting no man. She'll take me to the park car lot and I'd be sitting there looking, <laughs> didn't want to get out the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's just not happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at this. That thing is just making complaints about everything. <laughs> just complaining. Just, yeah. just not in agreement. But then that moment when we came in agreement, mm-hmm. just like that. Yeah. So we can, like she said, we can't defraud one another. Yeah. That's first ask. First ask person, can you agree with me? Yeah. Can and, you? Yeah, and can we believe that God would do this for mm-hmm. us? Because even Jesus asked him, do, do you believe that I can do this? You know, so we have to believe when we're asking God, too, that he can do what we're asking him to do for us. And he would do it. Yeah. And so we're going to pray right now. We're going to pray right now. I want you to start. We talked this morning about... Asking, seeking, knocking. I want you to put on your heart as you sleep tonight. Lord, show me my great connections and trust we show you. Because it could be that one that's laying right there beside you that you're saying, Amen. this person's not walking with me. You know, th- I'm telling you, the devil always wanted you to see this. Mm-hmm. That this person ain't for me. This person ain't believing in me. This person yeah, don't understand me. Truth. And I'm telling you, while he's talking at that, you need to say, shut up with your ugly self. <laughs> And then That's you, right. because the book, God says, <laughs> yeah. what I've joined together, let no man put asunder. That's and stop right. listening to all these people talking about, that ain't your husband, the Lord showed me. He ain't showed you nothing, because God is not trying to put anything asunder. If you listen to what he said, whatever you bound on earth, it's bound in heaven. Mm-hmm. Y'all got up there and says, I do, you do, we do. And guess what? Me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so as far as God's concerned, y'all yeah. belong together. Yeah. And he said, uh-uh, I'm not, I know what I said. Mm-hmm. Y'all said you do. I honored it. Yep. So when I, I'd say when people start going sideways, somebody got off the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. Somebody got tired of riding. Somebody got frustrated. Somebody got selfish. Mm-hmm. And just start thinking about right. themselves. That's the truth. So the idea is, no, 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 no. If we put one another first, think of another person, then we're mm-hmm. always giving and not always taking. And you, you, you'll see that God can bring us together. And I'm right. telling you. How powerful it is, especially for a husband and wife, to come together and walk in agreement and unity and harmony. Everything that they touch shall come to pass. Everything that they pray for will manifest. Right, absolutely. And so, now here's the thing about it. Yes. Don't get walking in agreement confused that y'all are supposed to all want the same thing. That's not what it's about. Yeah. But you know how to bring come to that common middle ground where there's a compromise where you can still walk together. In other words, we can agree to disagree to the point to where it's what's beneficial for both at hand. Because my thing is, mm-hmm. I don't like shopping. But it don't mean I don't like you. That's right. She can shop all day long. <laughs> I don't like shopping. Well, honey must don't love me. He don't go shopping with me. I'll give you the money. <laughs> Knock yourself out. And I get the keys and I'm gone. We, we have understanding. <laughs> and so she used to think, oh, my feet are hurt. You don't want to hang with me. No, baby. I love you. I'll hang with you. But we're not shopping. Just get that sofa off the truck when I drive Women, the Women can shop. Yeah. And so she having a good time. Guess what? <laughs> she ain't dragging me along with me looking ugly. Cutting into her shopping. Well, let's go. You looking all crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. Have some fun. Get you a girlfriend. Get you a great connection that likes to go shopping. So you got, you got to, you got to have, more, you got to have more than one, one great connection. Yeah. You know, if you know somebody like doing that, get with them. And when it comes to praying and walking in power, come, come talk to me. Let's mm-hmm. pray. Let's talk. Let's believe God. Let's cast out devils. Let's do the work of the Amen. Lord. We can walk That's together right. in that. Well, when you come to shopping, <laughs> baby, do I have to? <laughs> I don't want to, <laughs> but I guess I will. <laughs> Can we do it in two hours? <laughs> no. <laughs> great connection. So I'm praying right now for God to give you that great connection. Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's vital for us. Mm-hmm. It's vital for us to have that person we can come together and click. I'm telling right. you, when that thing shifts in us, it shifts in the spirit. And I'm telling you, windows, yeah. doors, keys, locks, they're unlocked. Mm-hmm. 
Father, in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, that that is for your people. Lord, thank you. I am believing you, Lord, yes. for there are hearts that you are connecting and knitting together, yes. like you did David and Jonathan, Lord, like you did for the men that, that had joined themselves to Saul. There are people's hearts, God, that, that you, are, you know that they are alike. Your iron shop in the iron. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bring those relationships together for every area of our life. For there may be different areas of God where we need to have that connection. Let that connection come to pass. Not all of us will have that one person, Lord. That may be for different areas, God. That may be for those, Lord, that need to have wisdom. And they need to be connected to a great, a great connection that for that for the wisdom that they need. Lord, yes. there may be people that need love, God. It's not always about a sexual and arrow kind of love. It may just be a filial kind of love, God. And they need that connection. Thank Maybe they can find another best friend. But whatever it is, God, I pray right now that you'll call that relationship to come to pass and that great connection to manifest. Yes. I bind the spirit right now that will come forth yes. to bring yes. con 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 uh, uh, destruction, contention, strife, envy, yes. and jealousy in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that it will be a pure, yes, true connection. Yes where they love one another, Thank even as Lord. Jonathan loves Saul. Thank in you, Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, how many of you can believe that God Thank can give you that type of relationship? Yes. I'm telling you, he can. Yes. Jonathan and David have a Amen. strong relationship to where they, yes. they say, man, they look too Thank close. Jesus. Amen. But their hearts were one with another, and they yes. understood one another, and that was yes. a great connection. And so God, yes. I'm believing God for great connections. And you want to know why? Because it's not just enough for us to pray for you mm -hmm. if you're not, if you're not convinced if you're not convinced mm -hmm. that we are for you, if you're not convinced that we're concerned about you, then guess what? Then you haven't received us to the point to where our connections can work for you. Right. God needs to give you someone yes, that is Lord. strongly, that you feel strongly is connected to you. Yes, and Lord. I'm going to be honest with you. We do concern. We are concerned. We, we, we want to be all that we can be for you. But here's the problem. We're not God. We can never be God. Yes. So we don't need you to get frustrated with anyone, Amen. including us. When it feels like things are not working for you, no, yes. don't. Let's not get, you know, Amen. to the point where we're frustrated. Let's yes. keep our faith in God and patiently wait on Him. Patiently mm -hmm. wait on Him. Yes. And there are a lot of people that say, "I, I just don't feel like listening to them tonight. They're always so positive and talking about <laughs> what God can do, what God gonna do, and 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 and, and mm -hmm. I just, I just hadn't seen Him." do it yet and I, I right now I just don't want to hear it uh, you know what the key is right. hearing it <coughs> over and over faith and comes. over and over because yes. that's how faith comes yeah. faith yeah. comes by hearing it's just like you get in the uh, advantage on tug of war mm -hmm. you don't lose that anchor you just keep on hearing it and it keep before you know it you have that victory keep pulling it and everything that you've been believing for is getting closer and closer. Just don't lose the anchor. Keep it. Keep, just keep your feet uh, planted. It's coming. Uh, every now and then, you know, the movie will come across. There, I'm not a television person, but there are certain movies that speak to me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't look at them for enjoyment, but they speak to me. They remind me who I am. And one of the movies I love to see is The 300. And not because I like to be entertained, not, the not to, because I like to, but it's something about us, Spartan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're courageous. They laugh and smile in the face of death. They give you the epitome of what a child of God should be. That say you the day I'll die a lovely death. What's a lovely Love death? death. Yeah. I'll, you know, for a Christian that should be dying in the Lord. I will die for Jesus Christ. What I will not forsake Him. And so, you know, with a smile on my face, if I'm being persecuted, I will magnify the name of the Lord. I will not, I will not transgress against him to give him the glory. I will be strong. And there's something about them. They weren't afraid of anything. We should have no fear in us. And so mm -hmm. when I see the movie, it's not about, oh, I'm entertained. Look at this part. No, I see myself as a Christian, as the epitome of a Spartan soldier, mm -hmm. strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Going forth, conquering the enemy and taking territory by force. Yes. And every time I see that, it reminds me who I am as a Christian. As a Christian, 
strong power and mighty. Great is the Lord and great is to be praised. And he, I, and, and he has made me more than a conqueror. Yes, That's what I see. So uh, sometimes uh, if it don't benefit me spiritually, I can't watch it. It's, well, it's just a bunch of foolishness. That's why I can't stand you know, foolishness. But mm -hmm. when it talks about the power of a man and a man, is, his beliefs and his convictions, I can believe that. And I can stand on that. Mm -hmm. And so when I see something like that, look at them, look at them, what you call those solicitors. Look at them, solicitors. <laughs> interrupting my television show. The, don't they just get on your nerves? And this is Sunday <laughs> at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Who would be calling your house at Sunday at 7 o'clock? I ain't buying you good. Stop calling me. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> interrupting mm -hmm. me. Now, let's go back to this. When we're talking about, we're talking about 300, 300. Yeah. yeah, and just about how I can identify with that. So you're going to find somebody that can identify with certain things in your life. Does not mean, like I, I was, I was praying. Does not mean that the person don't like you, don't love you. Stop taking things too personal. Right. Well, let's go walking. Well, maybe he don't feel like walking. Don't get mad. I said, well, look, I'm going to go by myself then. <laughs> and go by yourself. So if I yeah. need somebody that does love walking and y'all agree and watch what God do. Mm -hmm. I want to pray. We got three minutes. Well, three little, little less than four minutes. What is it that you're believing God for? Mm -hmm. I'm believing God for that great connection. Right. So that as you walk with it, you just look at the person and say, you know what? We've already prayed about that thing. I, you know, I touched and agree with the Pastor Tim, First Lady Vicky. I believe I received, mm -hmm. but you know what? Let's continue to water this thing. I want you to continue to, to agree with me and believing that it's going to manifest. That I already have it. I call those things to be not as though they were. So right. I'm walking in it, and so you know you want to hang around people that encourage you in it, mm -hmm. encourage you in it. Uh, I thought about something I want to say, but I don't think I have time to share it. Uh, when you talk about good connection, great friends, I'll tell you quickly. This young man said he made a commitment to his, to his wife, his fiance, that they were not going to do anything. They were going to, you know, save themselves as she's virgin until they got married. And say, so just so happened, he was over her house, at her mama's house, and they were there alone, and one nobody there. And his friend was in the neighborhood and found out that when he drove up on them, the house, that both of them was there and one nobody else there. He, he went to every door, everyone knocking on the door. Speaking the word, y'all said you said you gonna make your your your, your body the temple of the Holy Ghost. So they was about to get into something, but the guy walked out and he hugged each other and he said, "Now that's what I'm talking about. Stand your ground." So we need to have people that's connected with us that'll keep us from doing the wrong thing that'll speak to us the right thing. Stop getting mad at folks that tell you what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Stop hanging your phone up. I don't need nobody to tell me that. Yes, you do. We need great connections to make sure we stay on the road toward the destiny that God has for us. That you need to be hanging around people that are concerned to increase your um, faith in the word of God. Not somebody say, well, I see you okay. You know, you're going through. <laughs> no, you need somebody say, hey, mm -hmm. let's stand together and believe God. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I yes, thank you, Lord, Lord. to Amen. continually strengthen my sister that she is healed and we yes, declare it in Jesus' name. Jesus Amen. Name. So that's what we need, great connections like that. Yes. So grab somebody thank by the Jesus. hand. Let's Amen. pray and believe God to cover yes. us. We're going to pray uh, what, what Smith Wigglesworth called a massive corporate prayer, amen, mm -hmm. for healing, deliverance, salvation. If you hadn't made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life or you, you're walking kind of backwards and backsliding, fix it tonight. Just just make a, a conscious, definite decision to fix it and say, Lord, here I am. I wasn't walking right, but I'm back. Will you receive me? So we're going to pray and cover you in total prayer. So this is going to be a universal corporate governing cover and prayer. It's going to cover you and everything. Father, in the name of yes, Jesus Christ Lord. of Nazareth, Lord, of we thank you right now. Send your yes, word to Lord. heal, deliver, and set free. Stretch forth your hand from heaven yes, to Lord. heal, deliver, and set free. You, Those that need to be saved, Lord, yes, may they be Lord. saved right now. In Jesus' name, those that need to yes, recommit their lives back to you from their backsliding the the condition, Jesus. that they will come back unto you, Lord, and repent and be God re re restored, redeemed in Jesus' mighty name. Let them know that your righteousness, O oh God, is great and that all their sins can be redeemed remitted, O oh God, and washed away into the sea of forgetfulness. Lord, those that need to be healed, any sickness in their body, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth of every malady, yes, every malfunction, you, every sickness, heal. every Jesus disease name. in Jesus' mighty name. Now, God, heal relationships, yes, restore Lord. friendships, oh God, Thank in Jesus' Jesus. mighty name. Bring husbands and wives together in yes, unity Lord. on one accord, God, that Thank in that place you may command the blessing, oh God. Thank and you, we pray right now, God, Lord, that great Lord, connections, Lord. God, you, be discovered and yes, established Lord. and manifested yes. in the mighty name in of Jesus. Name. And we give you glory and we, and we praise yes, you for it Lord. in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Wow. I pray that your Amen. heart is as, is ecstatic as mine Amen. and continue to die on the good matter. So believe you receive not only healing for your body and healing in your relationships, but that God will grant unto you mm -hmm. that that great connection. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you on Wednesday night at the best of the kingdom. Remember, you can always inbox us. Amen. Amen.